Oh, sorry, is this a bad time? Okay, um, thank you for your time. So, hi, my name is Tia, and there's this guy I met on a dating site, and I really liked him, but I don't think I can see him again. So, backtracking, I was with my ex for the past 10 years. Gave my whole 20s to him, actually, but last year I finally left him. I knew he was not treating me right, calling me names and throwing things at me when he got mad, but he would always remind me that no other guy would want to be with me if they saw my skin. I've had really bad eczema since I was a little girl, but it kind of comes and goes and on bad days I get scaly red patches all over my body. I got made fun of a lot growing up because people thought it was infectious, but it's not. My ex was the only guy who ever saw everything and touched me. That's why I stuck with him all these years, even when he treated me like crap. But I finally broke up with him last year and started going on online dating. I only went dates at nighttime when the sun was down and I could wear layers. But last week, I met a guy who was really nice, like really, really nice. And he's really cute too. Um, I met him at a bar and it was especially hot inside. So I took off my jacket because it was getting really sweaty and um, it makes my itching worse. But he was so focused on listening to me and looking at my eyes that he didn't even notice the red patches on my arms. And for the first time, I went on a second date with him. And that night, he invited me to his house and we kissed. Then he started kissing my neck and saw my eczema and I saw that look on his face that was so familiar. He asked me if I was okay and I just got mad at him and said, I'm fine, have you never seen someone with eczema? And it just became really awkward. Um, so I excused myself to his bathroom and my anxiety flared up and it was itching all over. So I immediately barged out and I grabbed my scarf and left. And he called me that night and all day yesterday, he texted me if I was okay and that he was sorry. Like, what is he even apologizing for? I don't know if he's calling because he just feels bad for me or if he really actually still likes me. I think my boyfriend was right. There's no way, no way anyone would want to touch me other than him. I feel pretty disgusting. Once upon a time, a pottery artist made the perfect ceramic jar. It was so shiny and beautiful, but he felt like it was missing something. He made another one just like it. The two ceramic jars made a stunning pair. Every time he looked at the jars, he said, Which one of you will carry my treasures? I wonder which one. The jars were to be presented at an art exhibition. The night before the exhibition, the first jar was afraid that the artist put treasures in the second jar and wanted to check inside the jar. But she accidentally knocked the other one over. The jar shattered to pieces, but no treasures were found inside. Next morning, the artist was devastated to see the shattered jar. He quickly mended the pieces with gold. During the exhibition, people were mesmerized by the second jar. They said, The first jar is flawless and perfect, but I've seen many versions of it. But the second jar is extraordinary. How beautiful the cracks look with gold! At night, 
the first jar was so jealous that she threw herself down. The floor was covered with her shattered ceramic pieces with beautiful treasures that spilled out. She realized she held the treasures all along. When the artist found the broken jar, he said, What a tragedy. I put my treasures in the first jar because the second jar mended with gold was beautiful to look at but too fragile. But now it cannot hold my treasures. Both were perfect in their own way. Then he threw the first jar away. The second jar was later known as Kintsuki, Beauty of Imperfection. Oh, I feel so sorry for the first jar. Oh, there's something inside the... Oh! My gift for you is a mirror. The mirror can show parts of you that you want to reflect, but it will never show the full dimension of who you are, including your thoughts, your scent, or your soul. When you understand that you are more than what you see in that little circle, you will see how beautiful you truly are. Wow, I was so focused on having this skin condition all my life and I've never really thought about other things about me. Now that I think about it, I do have pretty eyes and people always told me I have a great voice. Oh, oh my gosh, he just texted me he's outside my house. I'm gonna meet him. Thanks, wish me luck.